Hi and welcome. Be sure to watch this video walkthrough for the five important steps that will help you get to those two time conversions in your store. Thank you so much for downloading this cheat sheet, but hey, you know what? You are among the few business owners to take the time to invest in learning what you need to grow your business. So get a cup of coffee, sit in a relaxing chair and listen to the video and I will grab a cup of tea. This is me on my boat. I live and work on my boat and I totally love it. So why me? The only thing I've done for the last few years is help startups and establish businesses to become successful. I have worked with clients for six years living through all the upgrades and changes in Google and Facebook to know what you need. What I've learned is that there are truly five steps you need to implement on your website and have really condensed the information for the short video. But you have the cheat sheet and I will email you a bonus step-for-step -step guide after you hello click the yellow button. Let me tell you what we're going to cover today. The five bulletproof ways to double your conversions on your website. It looks a bit confusing on the page, but it's really very simple. I will walk you through a one part of a larger framework I have with a nine step process. And this is the first step to get the results you're really after. They say, build it and they will come. Nope, no ghosts or hordes of people will discover you unless you really have a total step-for-step -step marketing strategy and goals to truly succeed in your store. Are you frustrated about your sales? Are your conversions really poor in your store? Or is there so much competition you're not even showing up in Google? I know how you feel because a lot of my clients had the same problem. Well, you know it takes more than just setting up your table and sticking a sign on it to get sales. It is more than having an online store and adding your products. Well, I have to tell you, you only have a brochure. So what is the solution? You need customers, but when those customers land on your page, you want them to buy, buy, buy. That is why you need a store, an active store, and not just a brochure. Every page on your website has to be treated like the most important page. I know this sounds complicated, but there are really only five simple steps to set up your page properly. You can do it easily in Shopify. Or have your designer do it. If you are on any other shopping cart, it is easy to add as well. Uh, we won't go into too many technical details, but rather concentrate on stuff that you can do. When customers land on your product page, you don't want your customers confused. Too many choices, no clear action button, you don't explain how to use your product. I've developed what I call the sales method. Solve, authority, live chat, eye catching and security. Solve one problem and solution, right? And how do you do that? Make it very, very clear in your title, which has to reflect what the problem the product is solving and used for, right? I know people think cutesy names are great. Think about how would your customers search for your product. They search products on what they need. Only the big guys can play with names. Speak to your customers about one product or need you are solving and preferably in the language and style that suits your customer. When you are describing the benefits, don't be too technical or too many details. It has to be skimmable to customers that want just the gist of the message and then have more linked information for the customers that need more information. It took me several sessions to get the Pure Indulgence site to sound less pharmacy and more beauty. And we are still working on it. It takes time to have the right tone and it takes several tries, but don't think you have to have it perfect the first time. You need to know and get to know your customers what they want and need to understand what you need to give them. Position yourself as an authority about your products. I hope you know what you're selling. People get the sense very quickly if you're just ad-libbing. Add clear FAQs and a help center and information about your product for example, ingredients, what your product is made of, how to use your product, shipping, processing, any information that will help. Allow customer reviews because that is the first thing customers will check on the product. If you don't have any, beg people to give you reviews. Let them test your product or think of how to get them to try your product out with a promise of giving a review. If you buy products, don't you check the reviews, right? I do. I always do. Customers love, love, love videos. 
but you can really showcase your product or show them how to use your product. You can show them how the product is made behind the scenes and you just have to be general or clips of customers using the product. Photos are good too. Ask them to upload a photo. It is all about educating your customer. You know that 96% of customers surveyed said videos were helpful for them to make a decision to buy a product. Four times more customers said they watch videos rather than read. Wow. You have to be available to your customer to answer their questions. The big guys are all doing it and a lot of the little guys too. And I bet you've used it numerous times. I know I do. It is all about communicating with your customers. I cannot emphasize it enough. You don't, have, don't want your customers to be frustrated and leaving because they are unsure about something. If you can help them immediately to make a decision, it is worth being available. How much do you want or need that sale, right? I know you can't be there 24-7, but it's reasonable to be available during the day. And if they have a message or if they send a message, make sure you answer them right away the next day. Most likely they have not made a decision on what to buy, but your responsiveness will be a major factor to enchant your prospective customers. Examples of live chat, the best one, I think, is Facebook Messenger, which is now for business. Well, what can I say about Facebook Messenger? It is awesome because your customers, well, most of your customers are on Facebook, all of 1.2 billion of them. In Shopify, you can easily activate Facebook Messenger. I've implemented it with a couple of my customers, and we have more customers connecting. If you are on another shopping platform, there are other apps to implement, but the point is be available to your customers. They are the ones spending the money and you're supposed to be raking it in, right? Your contact information has to be on the website. I know a lot of people don't want to add the number to the website, but you buy from somebody who cannot call you if you have a problem. I always check where are people located and if I can call them. Your contact info should be available on every page. It's easy in the foot to all the header, um, but it should be on every page. So your company name, contact us, live chat, maybe not 24-hour service, but live chat, your email address and your phone number, all very important. Make sure you have social media available icons on your website. So, and especially on your product page, you want people to actually share the products and, sh and, and send it to their friends. And it's another way to communicate with your customers once they share you on their show social media, right? Or if they like your business page and you want people to share your products with their friends so you can get more customers. You, ha you have an online store and your customers cannot taste, smell taste or feel your products. So you have to be visual. You've got to visually amaze them and show them what they are getting. Your images sell the product. Make the image large and eye-catching. It doesn't they don't have to be on a wide background, but if the image is too busy, it detracts from the main product. On the on the left hand side we had a very small image on this page and and the customers could not zoom in and see what the products were all about. So we recreated the images and also the labels and everything else and made a beautiful large on a white background in this case and size does matter. You want people to actually see your products. The image has to be relevant to the product, right? Check this example of natural perfume of one of my customers. She had a rose bush in a vase, no hint of perfume. So I created the image with a natural stone in the background the perfume bottle and can't you just smell the roses and videos don't forget about videos you can show your products off in various sides of your products and everything about your product in a video you can give them so much information so they can make a decision to buy your CTA which is call to action button it has to be eye-catching you don't want your customers to search for that buy button. It has to be front and center. On the computer, it has to be above the line, which means that before the computer screen cuts it off. Although these days, with all types of handhelds to view your store, that is not a factor. But you have to make the button very noticeable. And please 
Tell them what to do. Write on the button, buy now, add to cart. Be very specific about the actions you want your customers to take. One more important thing about your website is it has to be responsive these days. What it means is it has to convert to different sizes or types of computers, pads, cell phones, blah, 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 so your customers can have an amazing experience when they pop onto your website. A lot of people are shopping right off their cell phones, so make it easy for them, right? Now we come to the last step, and it's security. You know people buy from people they trust, right? So when they land on your page, make sure that you tell them all about the security about your page. The, your website has to be SSL and PPI compatible, which means the website is secure for credit card storage, transmitting credit card information, login information, etc. Your shopping card and credit card merchant should have this available already. Otherwise, change. They're not the real deal. Add your credit card icons to the page. And most shopping, car shopping cards have them at the bottom of the page. It's a good idea if you if you're capable of doing it is adding them to the cart or and the checkout page think of any trust icons that you can add maybe associations you belong to anything you can think of magazines you've been featured in your product verifications right there's so many just think outside the box right also offer your customers rock solid money back guarantee and refund information by reducing the perceived risk with a guarantee, you build relationships with your customers that inspire trust. It is possible the strongest sales tool anyone can leverage. It tells the customer what you stand behind and believe in your product. A lot of customers are checking your guarantees and refund policies before they even buy. I don't know if you heard about the Zulily case. The lady bought the coat from Zulily and after realizing the winter coat she ordered from Zulily was not for her, she called the company up to discuss a possible exchange. This Facebook post that she put at, has gone viral. 50,000 plus shares, um, 705 comments. It's amazing. She said, when I received the order, I could see through the packaging that the coat material wasn't going to work. Well, with two breeds of dogs we have, coarse dog hair and certain materials don't mix. And then the company told her not to send it back because it would cost her money. So send it, um, but give it to somebody who needed it and they would send her a new coat. She has been talking about this socially and is probably still talking about it. So this one loss of money has probably boosted their profits over 30%. Not many people want to send stuff back. And believe me, you'll get stuff back. Some returns are high. It depends on what you're selling. But most people are extremely lazy to send any products back and you could and could not be bothered and like the company with the coat what a wonderful advertising turning a bad experience in an amazing experience think outside the box a few companies are offering free shipping for sending products back to make the experience as painless as possible you have to do what's right for your business and for your customer not all of us can do that right so think about your refund policy it has to be on every page as well so it's, it's a good idea to have it as a link at the bottom of the page. You have been very proactive by being here and listening to this video. You will see success happening in your business. But I have, as I've said before, it takes a whole system to make the money flow. You need a step-for-step -step system to get great results you want in your business. Join us for a free webinar. See below and I will show you my, nine, my whole nine-step process of jump-starting your business and getting the conversions in your business. During the webinar, we will be talking about what you need to do and how to position your company to turn it into a sales engine instead of a store where you just hope and pray. So instead of hoping and praying for customers, come and discover the real reasons your business is not raking in the sales. I have been in business long enough to have seen how it works and what it takes to, to get you going. I hope to see you there. I will close with this one tip for you. It is what I call the LOL strategy. Listen to your customers, see what they need and not what you think they need. Offer them something more than what they expect and they will come back. Look after your customers, make them feel special and they will stay. I thank you very much and I hope to see you soon.
Bye.